सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर इलेवन डायट फॉर हेल्दी लिविंग पेज वन सिक्सटी वन इलेवन पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन फूड इज आवर बेसिक नीड इट नरिश इज आवर बॉडी एंड मेंटेन्स आवर हेल्थ it gives us energy that is required for every action of ours including our participation in games and sports the various food items that we consume constitute our diet diet may be defined as the total amount of different variety of food items consumed by a person during a day activity 11.1 recall yourself and also ask your friends about the food items consumed by you and your friends yesterday based on the information try to do the following list the number servings of each of the following consumed by you and your friends yesterday fruits vegetables pulses breads or chapatis or rice milk or milk products non veg Do you think the amount, variety and quality of food taken by you and your friends is adequate to meet the nutritional requirements? Let us discuss about a healthy diet. A healthy diet should consist of simple, natural and or well-cooked foods which promote health and protect us from diseases. It should keep our organ systems well functioning. The diet that we consume is decided by our socio-cultural norms, lifestyle pattern and the type of activities we are engaged in. There is a delicate relationship amongst what we eat, how much we eat and what will happen to our health if we overeat or do not eat properly. In the present chapter, we shall discuss important dimensions of diet for healthy living, which include nutrition, nutrients, food groups balanced diet special dietary requirements malnutrition and eating disorders 11.2 dietary requirements of human body our diet contains many food items which are obtained from different sources the food may be obtained from animal or vegetable sources we already know that food comprises constituents like proteins carbohydrates fats and supplementary substances such as minerals vitamins and water that are vital for life page number 162 these constituents are known as nutrients for proper functioning of our body we need to consume body building foods example milk meat poultry fish eggs pulses groundnuts energy giving foods example cereals sugar roots fats and oils and protective foods example vegetables fruits 11.2.1 nutrients the food we consume breaks down to simpler products before it is absorbed and utilized by the body these simpler substances are called nutrients our body utilizes nutrients for building and repairing obtaining energy and for protection from diseases What is nutrition? The term nutrition is related to our food intake and dietary patterns and utilization of protein, carbohydrate, fat, vitamins and minerals to maintain our health. Most of the natural food items contain more than one nutrient. Let us understand various nutrients contained in different food items. Figure 11.1, a vegetarian thali. In this figure a vegetarian thali is shown where we can see indian bread which is called a roti or a chapati then we can see some rice then there are four dishes made of vegetables we can also see some sweet dishes and some yogurt or curd figure 11.2 protein rich food items in this figure there are two images In the first image we can see dishes made out of different lentils in the other image we can see non-veg food items such as fish meat eggs milk etc 11.2.1.1 
proteins. Proteins are called building blocks of our body. About 20% of our body weight comes from proteins. Proteins are essential for growth and repair of muscle and other body tissues. Proteins are made of amino acids that contain the elements carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. We obtain proteins from animal as well as vegetable sources. Proteins of animal origin are found in milk, eggs, cheese, fish and meat. Proteins from these sources contain all the essential amino acids, EAA, in adequate amounts. Page number 163 Vegetable proteins are found in pulses, legumes, cereals, beans, nuts, oil seeds, etc. Those who take vegetarian food need to consume more and a wide variety of these foods to meet their protein needs. 11.2.1.2 Carbohydrates Carbohydrates are the main source of energy for our body. There are three major categories of carbohydrates, viz. starch, sugar and cellulose. Our body breaks down sugar and starch into glucose to provide energy. Cellulose does not have any nutritive value per se, but is a major contributor of dietary fibers. Excess carbohydrates are converted into fat by the liver and stored in the adipose tissues in our body. Carbohydrates are of two types, simple and complex. Simple carbohydrates are quick energy foods, for example, sugar. Sources of simple carbohydrates are natural fruits, milk and milk products and vegetables including potatoes and carrots. Complex carbohydrates are better sources of energy than sugar since these are released slowly. Sources of complex carbohydrates are breads, cereals, rice, wheat, bajra, corn, barley, ragi etc. We should consume starch and natural sugar and eat whole grains, rice, bread, cereals and fruits to obtain adequate amount of carbohydrates. Fast food items such as pizza, pasta, noodles etc. are rich in carbohydrates only and cannot replace a balanced meal. 11.2.1.3 Fats Fats and oils are concentrated sources of energy. Fats are substances that our body stores for future use. These are classified as simple lipids, example, triglycerides, compound lipids, example, phospholipids, and derived lipids, example, cholesterol. Fats may be obtained from animal or vegetable sources. The major sources of animal fats are ghee, butter, milk, cheese, eggs, fish, and meat. The source of vegetable oils are groundnut, mustard, sesame, coconut, etc. Excess carbohydrates are converted into fats. Fast food items like pizza, samosas, burgers are rich sources of fat. Therefore, children who consume only fast food items tend to become obese. Figure 11.3 Carbohydrates and Vitamins In this figure, there are three images. The top one has different vegetables and fruits. We can see fruits like banana, pineapple, apple, orange, grapes, guava, etc. In the second image, we can see some vegetables like pumpkin, radish, tomatoes, potatoes and cabbage. In the third image, which is at the bottom, we can see a loaf of bread and we can also see a plate which has lentils, rice and Indian bread called chapati or roti. Now moving on with the chapter. 11.2.1.4 Vitamins Vitamins are organic substances that we require in adequate quantities for good health. Our body, however, cannot synthesize them. Therefore, we need to consume their natural sources such as fruits and vegetables. Page number 164 Vitamins are divided into two groups, fat-soluble vitamins, vitamins A, D, E and K and water-soluble vitamins, vitamins of B group and vitamin C. 
each vitamin has a specific function and its deficiency leads to a particular deficiency disease. 11.2.1.5 Minerals Minerals are the nutrients that are very essential for proper growth and functioning of our body and are required in small amounts. Calcium, chlorine, copper, fluoride, iodine, iron, magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, potassium, sodium and zinc are essential mineral nutrients. We will explain some of them now. We have a table 11.1 .1. Vitamins, Sources, Need and Deficiency Disease Now we have this table which has four columns. The top column reads Name of Vitamin, Sources, Need and Deficiency Diseases. Then under that we have different vitamins. Vitamin A. Its sources are milk, butter, egg, carrots, cod liver oil, tomatoes, pumpkin, green leafy vegetables. Why is vitamin A required? Need of vitamin A. Normal growth and to keep eyes and skin healthy. If it is deficient, then night blindness and irregular growth of teeth happens. Now moving on to vitamin D. Its sources are cheese, butter, milk, green vegetables, fish liver oil, sunlight. Need Formation of strong bones and teeth. Deficiency disease, rickets. Vitamin E Vegetable oils, spinach, lettuce, turnip leaves, butter, milk, whole grains. Nuts, seeds, leafy vegetables. Need protection of cell membrane, formation of red blood cells, RBC. Deficiency disease, not yet confirmed. Vitamin K, cabbage, cauliflower, spinach, and other green leafy vegetables, cereals, soya beans. Why is it required? Because it helps in clotting of blood. Deficiency disease? If it is deficient, then excessive bleeding from wounds happens. Please note that vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K are all fat-soluble vitamins. Now, we will discuss water-soluble vitamins. Vitamin B1 Thiamine Its sources are seafood, milk, meat, peas, cereals, green vegetables. It is needed for growth and development, releasing energy from carbohydrates. Deficiency disease, beriberi. Page number 165. Vitamin B2. Riboflavin. Its sources are yeast, egg, meat, peas. It is required for body growth and red cell production and for releasing energy from carbohydrates. Deficiency disease, skin diseases, retarded growth. Vitamin B3, niacin. Its sources are whole cereals, tomatoes, potatoes, meat and fish. It is required for healthy skin, digestion and nervous system. Deficiency disease. Pellagra affects skin, alimentary canal and nervous system. Vitamin B12 Its sources are liver, milk, eggs, fish. It is needed in forming RBC. Deficiency disease, anemia. Vitamin C Option, vitamin C Its sources are Indian gooseberry, amla, lemons. Lime, pineapple, oranges, watermelon, green peppers, tomatoes, cabbage, turnip, carrots, green mint, guava. It is required for maintenance of ligaments, tendons, other supportive tissues and blood vessels. Deficiency disease, scurvy, gum swell and bleed. Now carrying with the chapter. 11.2.1.6 Water 
Water is a nutrient and it makes up almost 70% of our body weight. We need water to break down complex food molecules and transport food, chemicals and gases throughout the body. It acts as the medium for biochemical reactions and is also required to eliminate the wastes as urine and sweat. We should take 8 to 10 glasses of potable water per day. Inadequate water intake leads to dehydration. Therefore, intake of water in proper proportion is important. We should never substitute water with coffee, tea or soft drinks. Table 11.2 Important Minerals Sources and Functions We have one more table for you. It has three columns. The top column reads Name of Mineral Sources Need Iron Its sources are Meat Fish Liver Eggs Green Vegetables Turnip Germinating Wheat Grains and Yeast Need Formation of Hemoglobin Page 166 Page number 166 Calcium Its sources are Milk and Milk Products Green Leafy Vegetables it is required in formation of strong bones, teeth, clotting of blood, muscle contraction, phosphorus. It is obtained from meat, egg, fish, whole grains. It is required for development of strong bones, teeth, making energy-rich compounds in cells. Potassium. Its sources are green and yellow vegetables. It is required for growth keeping cells and blood healthy. Sodium. It is obtained from common salt, also in meat and milk products. It is needed for proper functioning of nervous system. Iodine. Its sources are iodized salt, seafood and water. It is required for proper functioning of thyroid. Deficiency causes goiter. Fluoride. Its sources are coffee, Spinach, onion and tea. It is required to make enamel of teeth hard and prevents dental caries. Copper. Its sources are grains, nuts and chocolate. It is required because it helps in formation and functioning of RBC, connective tissue and nerve fibers. Zinc. Its sources are meat, eggs, and fish. It is required for insulin production, digestion, metabolism, functioning of male prostate. Chloride. It is obtained from meat, milk products and fish. It helps in functions of muscles and nerves and digestion. Now, time for some activity. We have two activities for you. The first one is 11.3. Prepare a list of food items you consumed last week at breakfast, lunch and dinner and record the nutrients contained in by them. Activity 11.4 Find out the number of glasses of water each of your 10 classmates consume in a day. You are just listening to this audiobook. Narrator Neeraj Yadav Technical Coordinator Bati Langlingdo Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT New Delhi, India